viewers out there, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. My Lexa um, SD card reader arrived, so I'm all good. I'm all happy about that. Um, I put the SD card in and I um, extracted the files off the off the camera, off the SD card anyway. Um, and uh, I went through them. But found that I don't know how you guys do do it, but how the hell do you, you sit, like with the camera in your hand sit it still? Oh my god! I looked through it. And I I was watching and I was like, I'm gonna be sick watching that thing. I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna put any of what I what I um have put already on there out to you guys because it's sickening. It seriously is. It the camera moves so much. It's like shit, you're like, I'm watching it like this, and I'm like, I'm gonna be sick, um, so, yeah, I was like, whoa, so, um, there is some good, good, there is one good video that I will put up, but, um, the video of me walking into town, no, nah, I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to, I have to either invest in a, in a, in a selfie stick, so the camera stays still, or, um, get one of those things, uh, like the GoPro, um, not a GoPro, but a GoPro, um, thing, and have the actual, uh, camera on me, like, on my body as I walk, instead of it being in my hand. But then again, you probably will get the, the jolt, I don't know, how do you guys do that? Oh my god! Wow. Okay, so um, I am gonna do a, a, a after this little vlog. I'm gonna do the vlog of my clean house, and um, my study is already kind of messy. <laughs> Even, um, not not totally messy, but it's it's already like piling up a little bit. There's already stuff on the floor. <laughs> Um, I, I think what I need, I need a little bin underneath, underneath my desk so I can just throw things away, um, without it getting out of hand. Um, I think I find that it, when I get a parcel in the mail or whatever, I kind of just go, unpack it and just go, uh, and throw it. <laughs> Don't need all that, just need the stuff that's inside it. Um, so, um, let's see if we can give, show you the... This little, oh, shit. Alright, so, I don't know if you can see yet, but let's have a look. Hang on. Oh, where is it? Alright, so this is the little thing that I got. It has, um, a few slots, a few slats, um, for the thing. And it was really easy to use. All I need, all I need to do is plug it in and, um, <coughs> and, um, it came up with all the drives. It was pretty cool. I liked it. It was awesome. And I was like, woo, sweet. Um, so, yeah, um, that's that. Uh, what's happening this weekend? Coming. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is a bit... I'm not feeling very well. I am a little sick. I woke up with a sore throat. Um, my friend is, she's really sick as well. I think it's just the weather. You see, the other day, two days ago, it was stinking hot. Seriously, 36, it was 36.9 degrees Celsius. That's how hot it was. And then the next day, it was raining, it was cold, and it, like, probably went down to about 15 degrees. So, my friend, she gets, uh, and uh, myself as well, um, when there's drastic changes in heat and cold, like, boom, I get sick, and there's a lot of people out there that it happens to, it's, it's like, why do, why, weather, why do you do this to me, um, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I am not feeling the best, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay, uh, it's not like a contagious cold or flu, it's just getting sick from the weather, being all up and down and shit. So, um, I, 
there was a there was a video in the on the SD card that um I did like. It was when I put I put down I put down the camera and it's just filming on the ground um because I had because it was really hot that day and I had to take the jumper off and um I just sat it down and it just watched what was happening and there was like this little ant also um so I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it in to this vlog as well but I'm, I'm I am going to um get little bits and pieces out of the vlogs that I have done um on that camera just to, I'm going to put the first one on as well that goes for about 18 minutes or oh, actually I'm not gonna have it for 18 minutes I'm gonna stop it as soon as I get into the house so um, yeah so that's it's gonna uh, I just wanted to show you my backyard that's all I wanted to do with that and um, yeah so and then uh, that will be after this vlog um, but the, on the end of this vlog is gonna be um, my house my my clean house so um, I will catch you guys on the flip side all right hey guys um, so we're gonna do this right now and this is gonna be the first vlog using the Nikon camera and look there's Cleo Let's see if I get off me oh just jump down. There she is. There's my Cleo. Hey Cleo. Meow. Cleo. Hey. Hey Puss Puss. Hey Puss Puss. Hey. Hi. Hey Kellen. Hi. Alrighty. So I'm going to show you now. Here. Hang on. Oh, two. Alrighty. So, alright. So, so it's 18 minutes of vlogging I can do with this. I'm, I'm guessing it's, that's the only thing. But down the side there, that's that's where... It, whoa, bloody hell. <laughs> the hell, the hell where that was. Down there, underneath that door, sliding door there, is where I do most of my vlogging. Which is... Ugh. Oh, the hell. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna like... Y yeah, there's bugs flying around. <laughs> um, so, Mark's been doing lots of gardening. Hello, Bella. Oh, don't jump on me. <laughs> all right. So, um, this part here where all this, um, uh, all this stuff here with the rocks and, and all this down here, this wasn't here before. And there was just, ew, mozzies. Oh, my God, a mozzie just landed on me. All right, so here used to be this big, tr big um, bush, and uh, we weren't able to get through here before, and now we can. Um, well, not yet because we still we still need to get this this stuff here and put the air conditioner on on up here and do some other stuff and try and make a pathway through here so we can bring the mower and all that sort of stuff and through that way instead of through the house. So. All right, so we're gonna go and have a look around now. So, all right, um, so that now we're up here, and the 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 grass needs cutting, but I won't do that until Mark is finished completing it. Completed. I might do a little bit of it, but there's really not. It's really there's there's no there's no point. There's too much stuff. So we'll go up here, and we have this black stuff and in those black things are um uh, uh spe um i can't think of what it's called <laughs> um uh, the 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 material that's really bad for your for your lungs um asbestos i think it's called asbestos yeah anyway so um this is our broken clothesline whatever let's move it around a bit all right and if you look see um over the house all right let's see if we can zoom that's that's our view there's a big mountain all the way over there it's a bit um if you can see you can see like this this dark area hang on where's my finger oh there's my finger all right 
So this is like dark area just along there. That's the that then there's the clouds up there, but you can see kind of see um, the ridge over there. It's really hard to see actually, but, but you'd see it if it wasn't so cloudy. Anyway, so um, the shed this shed is actually not going to be a shed anymore. Um, we're going to get rid of it, um, and up behind here is just stuff and we need to fix that uh, fence up and stuff as well um, there used to be uh, there used to be a garden just up there but we we're gonna get rid of that or well, we might even keep the garden we might even put a new shed just well <laughs> just there um, so this is Mark's little garden and the uh, veggie garden having some veggies and stuff all right, so down here, oh, I really need to get inside. Come on, move! Bloody hell. All right, so if you can see this, oh, shit. This is what's happened to the to the shed at the moment. There's, an, there's a spider right there. If you can see it. Whoa. Ugly looking thing. Um, lots of mozzies around. So, yeah. There used to be a wall here. Now there's just a frame. Um, so we're knocking this down. We need to get an electrician in. Um, Mark's mask, masking, masks, blah, blah, masking taped it. <laughs> and there's some nails and stuff that need to be taken out. Um, and Mark bought it a little bird, if you can see. Um, a little bird bath. I don't know if any birds have used it yet, but um, maybe. Uh, and this is, this or here is a little creek that goes all the way up, up to there. Um, and this is to help drainage uh, when it rains, because if, if we don't do that, then the rain just goes all the way down there, and it's just horrible. Alright, so we're going to walk down these steps here, uh, now. Alright, oh there's poo. No. Hello, Abel. Boys, boys. Meow. Hello, Abel. Hi. Hi. Oh, Bella, you're such a bully. You're such a bill. You're such a bully, Bella. All right. So, if we're just gonna have a look down here, just make sure there's no spider web. Ah, that hurt. All right. So down there is that's my bedroom down down in there. And my brother's bathroom is just above. Then that's under the house, and that's there's my bathroom under there. All right, so that's that. That's the garden. I just make sure I didn't step it. Oh, I think I stepped in poop. Uh, did I? Or is that old? I think that might be old. Reason why the nature of the racetrack is. Hey guys. Um. Well, you know what? Um. This is the little, uh, sorry, that's just Bathurst, because, oh yeah, Bathurst 1000 starts this weekend, and I can't wait to watch that, um, they're just doing practice, V8, the, the V8 Supercar practices at the moment, anyway, so I would like to show you what Dale cleaned, okay, whoa, <laughs> hang on. Wait, can we see me? Oh, there me. Hey, hello, everybody. Woohoo! That's a dirty mirror. We need to clean that. Anyway. So. She did our stairs. She didn't have to. She didn't have to in here. But she did. So, um. I told her she didn't have to. But she did it anyway. Alright. So. Uh, she cleaned, she dusted, she cleaned all this, all this for me, dusted all that, so glad that there's no more dust anymore, um, she even cleaned this wall here, because the cat would, had paws all over it, she cleaned the floor, I still need to get this cleaned here though. I mean, she did a whole day of cleaning. Like, started from 10.30 through to like, I think it was like 3.30, 4 o'clock. 
Okay, so look, guys, no more dust. No more dust. And here, cut. Here's here's for the Nirvana fans out there. The one dollar Nirvana dollar bill. All right. So and there's an original Coke bottle, still with Coke in it. Anyway. So, there is some of my stuff. Alright, and look at that. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. No dust. Great stuff. Awesome. She even dusted off my guitar, which is cool. Thank you, Dale. Hey, guys. Um, Dale... Uh, doesn't want to be known as Dale on the vlogs so she was like she was like I want to be like a different name and I was like well what would you like your name to be so what, what do you reckon guys we should call her something not Sadie though because I like John Farnham <laughs> Um, not cleaning lady, not the Sadie, the cleaning lady. We don't want to do that. So, my drum kit's nice, and there's no more dust on my drum kit, or there either. And I'm sorry about the darkness in this room. There is, um, seriously, like, um, the light is blind, so sorry about that. But you kind of can see. Uh, when, when the light does, um, Actually, what we'll do is we'll jump up my bed oh, uh, and turn this light on so we can see better. See better. Anyway, so I wouldn't go in there because it's stuff. Anyway, so we'll go through this and you can see there is no dust. There is no dust and it's, it's nice and clean. And apart from that, apart from, apart from this stuff over here, uh, that's next time. Uh, I still need to sort out some stuff. But the carpet is nice and clean. Bed is awesome. New sheets. Um, I don't need. I don't need. Um, I don't like to make my de my, make my bed. Because what's the point? I'm just going to get back into it and mess it up again. All right. So we're getting into the bathroom now. Where the bathroom is like so echoey right now because um actually it's really funny that so there i am hello so um when i have because i don't have the floor mats here in here at the moment um when i do have the floor mats in here the echo goes away why am i the echo goes away when i do so, alright, this is my nice shower head and clean bathtub. Can't wait to have a bath in here. I'm going to have a bath tonight, I think. Um, oh, don't want to look in there, it's a bin. But nice clean toilet. Yep, so that is, see this here? That's the stairs going up. Stairs. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And do you remember in the vlog, on the backyard vlog, which was before this one, um, you saw a window that's downstairs? That's this window here. All right, so close this door. Always close the, the bathroom door because the, the window in there is always open. And look at Bella. Bella, puppy. You want to play? You want to play, Bella? You want to play? Huh? Ah. Come on. Get it. Get it. Come on. Growl at me. Dale got her that toy. She loves it. Thank you, Dale. I think she says thank you. Anyway, 
So, yeah, um, I'm just going to quickly show you the rest of the house. Um, uh, uh, it's kind of clean up here. There's just some clothes that I need to take off and stuff. But I did show you this this the other day, but um, I took it out of the vlog because it was just really dark and gloomy up here. So this here is used to be a bedroom. Um, and then there was a wall that went across there and a door, ow, there. So, um, uh, this used to be my bedroom. Um, and now it's a study slash, um, sunroom. Um, and then through here is the other bathroom. Um, we have, how many bathrooms do we have? We have three. So, yeah, that's that. So this is... Little Stewie, hello Stewie, victory shall be mine. Um, yep, yeah. so that's that, and that is outside. Let's have a look. It's the balcony out front, and uh, some of my toys. That's my brother's room, we won't go in there. That's his own sanctuary. And this is the spare bedroom where no one lives at the moment. My brother, my, I'm not my brother. Um, he is kind of like my brother anyway, but my friend, uh, I've known him since I was 15, he was living in here. Anyway, the kitchen's kind of a little bit messy, but, um, look, there's Jamie. And hang on, there's Jamie. That's Jamie Emanuel right there. If you haven't checked out her vlogs yet, um, Yep, go and check her vlogs out. Yeah. Jamie Emanuel. Alright, so, um, yeah, some of my stuff. Oh, just see that? <laughs> that was insane, the brightness, and then it was like. Yep, so, my coffee machine. Oh, yeah, baby. I might have one of those. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Yep, filthy mess. Uh, dining room. Hey, this is cool. Go hard. Go solo. I love that. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, I like solo. S no, it's not red solo cup. Anyway, this is my brother's, um, my brother's been, like, to India and Africa and Mexico and all, pretty much all around the world. So, he collects things. So, he's collected lots of things, Africa and India and, um, and, uh, South America and America and Canada and, you know, just been everywhere. That's, that's my cool stargazer um oh god I think telescope <laughs> and uh yep this is my brother's lounge room he has a fireplace too so yeah that's pretty much the house um we're gonna go back downstairs um And sit right down here for a minute and uh, zoom in and watch the, some of these V8 supercars go over the hill. Go down the straight. Oh! No! Renee Gracie just running a little wide on the exit of the final turn down there, getting away with it. That wasn't too good. Let's see, one, let's see, as all the drivers do, and so it will not only be physically painful for him at the moment to be dealing with the 
remnants of this injury that he's I like the blue car. I don't like the the orange car. Or is it a red car? Oh no, it's red. Hope you'll be in the car at red and white. Stroll Gold Coast 600. Lots of Looks orange on here. Wondering if that'll be the case as we focus on Renee Gracie here and what a great opportunity this is for her to get a start in the The orange car is a Ford. Simona Di Silvestro. Let's not forget she's also racing in the, the one in front is a Holden. But in a very different specification. But they're not car. racing at the moment. This is just Paul practice. Motorsport with Triple Eight Heritage. This car here is one of five entered and run by Pro Drive this weekend, and their behaviour and their little idiosyncrasies are quite different. So it's a big mission to swap from setting one up car their to cars, another. making sure the cars are, Paul you know. Mars, you've been a mentor for both Renee Gracie and right for the race day, or especially for, for the practice the anyway. Not the practice, the qualifications, uh, pace, you know, and then the sprint race, thought, and then so the Bathurst 1000. Really Got to make sure their cars are all up to spec. Nice. I, figured that sort of within four seconds, I love this we're fucking race. We're just looking for race pace, we're looking for Sunday. They're so down the, he's going down Conrad straight right now. I think it's Conrad. Or is it? I don't know. I forget. Is it Conrad? The big straight's Conrad, right? Anyway, whatever that straight's called, 300 kilometers an hour down that straight. It's insane. He's going into pits now. Wait, is Conrad straight the first straight or the second straight? Amazing for our sport. Maybe one of you guys out there will go, no, that's not Conrad Straight, that's the other straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. First all female team since 1998 at Mount Panorama. Oh, that's. Huge amount of interest in the. What? That's a girl driving that car. And Renee's 19th at the moment. Had no idea. And, uh, so she's had a couple of exploratory laps now and we'll see that they're coupling up to No wonder she went wide. Personal comments about I'm sorry. Looks <laughs> Remember that her teammate, though she's never raced a sedan before, has done a massive amount of single seat. Way to go. I, I'd have to say, way to go. There's one of the Volvos. They only came in this year. That Volvo is supposed to be a really good car, actually. Looks like a Holden so much. Very different set of circumstances. Interesting to see that as soon as the interview finished there with Rihanna, Paul Morris was straight in. You could just see him top left of screen listening to what Renee Gracie had to say. Following the other the two cars in this uh, Nissan um, Altima and the AMG Mercedes. Very experienced engineer, South African Paul Sebrenich has been a feature of the V8 Supercars Championship various teams and technically in the background for a long time is engineering that car this weekend so he'll be very handy for that group to work with in general terms and someone like Paul who's done so many racing miles around I wonder an Aussie race car to a V8 they said that in the, the Ford that there's a um it's an all girl racing team I wonder who the other girl will be when racing with that girl because uh, I haven't really Watched a lot of V8 supercars this year. I should have. But um, I just just been busy. I always forget when it's on. But I love the Bath Bathurst 1000. I'm watching this all weekend. I don't care if there's anything else on. I'm watching this. Might have to tape some of it too. Expectation is that you probably won't see the same kind of peak lap speed you might have seen earlier, and to the point that Jack Perkins was making with you earlier on, Rusty, it's very much dependent on what you do with tyres. Chas Mostert was the fastest man in that previous session. There's Eddie on his right hand. There's another side. forward. Hey, no, don't. Socks on, no doubt. I think there's spots in there. Sorry about that, guys. Bella just. Knock my arm. But uh, that was a very handsome lap time, and uh, these guys are going to be in pretty good shape. So, Owen, Russell, Kremer, Waters, Canto, Webb, Yulton, Davis, Holden. Jones, Luff, that's the 10, and this is Oliver Gavin on screen.
just to your little topic of weather, which I know you follow very closely, some talk, chance of showers maybe Saturday and a 50% chance on Sunday with possible storms. I'm wondering if that uh, is accurate Whoa. what that might do for the complexion of this race. That's going to be Watch interesting. Oliver Gavin currently 17 Very interesting, Ryan. Exactly to the script. It doesn't rain usually there. I mean, it does, but not often because it's pretty dry out there. And um, 50% of ch chance of rain on Sunday, that's going to be hectic. He's sharing with Dick Percat, former winner of this event. In fact, Percat, when you isolate him. Welcome to the flip side. Hey, guys. Well, um, that was just all the... Um, all the... Okay, so it starts off beginning. There was, like, you know, some of the footage that I got off. The um, the Nikon SD card, which is still in the SD card reader. Um, a little bit of footage at the beginning there, and then me talking, and then two more videos on the end. Uh, the backyard and the house is clean vlog, and a little bit of Bathurst 1000 uh, practice sessions, which are still on in the background right now, right there. Um, playing on the television. Um, there was an accident uh, in the practice round. One of the Jack Daniels cars has been damaged pretty severely. It seems like the Pepsi Max car is a little damaged at the moment too. So, uh, you know, things happen, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, sometimes, you know, when even in practice sessions you accidentally hit a wall, or you change gear too early and, or late, or, and you, you know, you stuff up, so, you know, it, things happen, uh, Uh, I don't know who I'm going to be, I don't know who I'm going to be vouching for really, because there's a lot of new, new races. Craig Lowndes, I, I will, I, I'm cool with Craig Lowndes. Um, who's in the super cheap, or, super cheap auto, Holden, Tony, um, Delberto, I'll probably, yeah, he's probably, Someone on this is a Mercedes Benz. Um, so all the all the f there's I think there's there used to be only well when when VA Supercars first started out they were like Holdens, Fords, um, uh, like okay. First of all, there's Australian Holdens and there's Australian Fords. They were in, but there was also American Fords and American. Chevys that used to also be in the V8 supercars. They also used to have Nissan and maybe Volvo. I think. Um, in the V8 supercars. Now they have, and then it kind of, then they got rid of all the other cars. And they just had Holden and Ford. Because Holden and Ford, Australian cars, Holden and Ford, were pretty much, you know, there's there's a group that love Holdens, and there's a group that love Fords. And we always clash. So, um, yeah. But anyway, um, so now they've got the Holden, the Ford, so the Holden Commodore and the Ford Falcon. And they have now the... Nissan Altima, the Volvo, I don't know which Volvo it is, I'm sorry, I don't go for Volvo, I'm, they only just came in this year, so I don't know which what the Volvo is called, um, and it's also, they also got the AMG um, uh, Mercedes, the team is Erebus, Erebus, I don't know if the car's named, named Erebus, but yeah, but I'm not too sure exactly which model, the um, 
the the Mercedes is. AMG. I'm just guessing that that's what it is. Anyway, um, the Ford. I don't know which. I uh, see. I don't even know what the model Ford is because I don't know what they're up to. Um, I remember the BA, and that's about it. Um, the Commodore. I think. It's either the VE or the VF. I'm not too sure. But you may... Um, I'm pretty... Uh, well, it's probably the VF due to the fact that the VF is now out and they always upgrade the cars to the current Commodore or the com co uh, current Falcon that is out um, in for sa up on for sale in the public. So... I'm guessing last year was the VE and t this year's the VF. I'm just guessing here. I, I have no idea. Um, all the cars are manufacturedly the same. Um, same spec, same... You know, th there is... All the cars are the same. They don't have the same engines or no, they're, they're engines from the same, but they're all built the same way. They're just, they're, they're just set up to the way the driver likes to drive it. So it's set up to the way you, the driver needs to drive the car. And it's also set up, um, no, and it's also depends on the skill of the driver if he's a highly skilled driver he may win like Craig Lowndes and Jamie Winterbottom Winter, Winter Bottom, win a lot because they are skilled drivers and they know their setup of their cars and they just like you know they're good at what they do anywho I want to go and get some lunch Oh, sorry about that. I bet you any money I made you yawn. And um, I'm going to go and watch some more of this V8 Super Cars. And I know my friend can't watch it because she don't have Foxtel. Anyway, and um, I've been teasing her. I actually I actually sent her a message on Facebook and I went, Oh no, Craig Lowndes, he had an accident. He flipped his car and his car's like gone. And oh my God, it's so bad. And I went, joking. And she's like, you're so mean. She loves Craig Lowndes. Alright guys, well, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is not the radio station. Uh, I should have DJed today, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel like it. And I woke up late. Because, yeah. Ugh. See you guys on the flip side tomorrow. You'll see me. Catches.